Hello guys and welcome back to the campaign series. We are about to start with the Rise of Rajas campaign and that's going to be the last expansion, at least official expansion campaigns that there are. I'm not sure what we're going to do or focus of about focus on after that. People have been talking about Age of Empires 3, people have been talking about mythology. We'll see, maybe we'll just finish Age of Empires Definitive Edition, so Age of Empires 1 campaigns first and then take it from there. But let's focus on the Rise of Rajas campaign for now. So play the new campaigns from the Rise of Rajas expansion. Sail along the wielding coasts of Southeast Asia and venture into dense jungles as you relive the conquests of Gayamada, Suri Surya Varman, Leloi, and Bayanaung. I'm sure I pronounced those exactly how they're supposed to be. Let's see here. So Gajamara is the first one. Followed by Sur Yavarman, Bayanaung, and Leloy. Art is still the toughest difficulty, so we're gonna stick on that. On the island of Yava, a new power is rising. Gayamara, prime minister of the Mayapite, conspires to build an empire to rule the waves and islands of the archipelago. Will he be able to balance his unquestioned loyalty to the king with his growing ambitions? That's what we're about to find out. So yeah, uh, let's go. <laughs> the story of our fathers. Let's go. What drives a king and his people to expand their lands to the very edge of the unknown? Why are the people willing to sacrifice their lives and that of their families for a ruler they have never met? The legends of our ancestors is what drive us. The way people speak of our predecessors and what they managed to achieve. Everybody here has heard of the great Sri Vijaya Empire, a great power of the past that exerted its rule upon all of the islands and even dared to dictate high tolls to the Indian and Chinese trading ships that passed between them. Sadly, that same greed also led to their downfall. The animal that we hold in highest esteem in our culture is the Kanchil. And foreigners laugh at us when they hear about it. Why would you ever think so highly of such a small and benign creature, they ask. But that is because they know nothing of its heart. Despite its unimpressive appearance, the Kanchil has the ability to overcome any obstacle, defeat much larger adversaries through sheer cunning, and possesses a bravery like that of no other animal. Just like the Kanchil, small and benign as we are now, we will raise a new empire from the ground up, the Majapite Empire, larger and stronger than any before it. Our legends will ripple through the ages, and we will be remembered. All right. Like, uh, uh, okay, those are allies, that's fine. I'm gonna read the objectives first, so. Wait for instructions from the Raden Wijaya. Capturing the villages, capturing villages will give you a higher population limit. At the moment, your base supports 75 population. You are restricted to the castle age and your starting population limit is 75. Every village you capture, however, increases your population limit by up to a total, up to, by five up to a total of 125. You conquer villages by destroying the towers within them. Once the tower is destroyed, one of your towers will replace it. Battle elephants are great for taking down enemy towers. You can find Mongol and Javanese equipment scattered around the map. It will help you boost your technologies. The Mongols cannot be trusted. Their ultimate goal is to subdue all of Southeast Asia. The castle in Kadiri gets regular supplies over land which are used to train more soldiers. Blocking these supplies will be vital for victory. Our great ruler Radin Vijaya fled east to escape Singasari after a failed rebellion against them. Here in eastern Java, he is now he now plans to build a new kingdom. Mongols had sent diplomats in the name of Kublai Khan to demand tribute from the Indonesian kingdoms. However, Singasari killed their diplomats, and now a Mongol army has arrived south to punish them. Since we're both enemy of Singashare, they might be willing to 
to for from form is probably what it's supposed to say willing to form a pact against them but once Singasar is weakened we should be smart and break the pact at an opportune moment to gain the upper hand the mongols have brought their horses and will raise an army of light cavalry cavalry archers mangadai and siege units east right next to our starting position is Singasari, our former overlord they have the support of many of the nobility which makes them a very strong opponent They'll be very aggressive and attack us with crossbowmen, cavalry archers, elephants, longswordsmen, and mangonels. To the west of us lies the fortified castle of Kadiri. It's in a very strategic position and Singasari can control the surrounding villages from here. If they have the supplies, they'll train knights, crossbowmen, pikes, and elephants. Alright, let's see what happens. Hello, Aradan. The Kadiri and the Mongols refuse to talk to my diplomats. I'll show them. Yes, you will. You and you me together, man. As many villages as you can and defeat their petty armies in the field. Only then will they realize the mistake yeah. they made yeah, so and so 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 me to spare their lives. Agreed. Oh, oh, oh. Destroy Singastari, destroy Kadiri's castle, destroy the Mongols. All right. First off, there we go. All right. So we're gonna make. Do we have crossbows? Oh. The Kadiri have been fighting quite intensely, and everywhere there's abandoned equipment to be found. We can use it to speed up our military advancements. Why are those elephants, Gaia? That mean I'm gonna get those elephants. I mean that's what I think. By the looks of things. So we shall move forward and see if we get control over those. Oh yeah. Uh, that, that, was, that wasn't the toughest tower to take. Can I get you as well, Mr. Villager? Don't think so. Oh, it updates. Uh... Yeah, it updates as you collect them. Okay. I mean, there's no no big armies on those towers. And I assume that I'm not under threat of, uh, like, if I lose my own towers. I don't think I will um, lose the population, you know. I mean, like, this should be no problem at all to take. Nor this. I might split up here. Let's go. I should make a blacksmith. Actually, I don't want to make it there. Last time I built something in the entrance, a trebuchet didn't spawn, so we are gonna try to avoid that. Elephants should take care of this. This might be a little bit of a waste of space, but karambits. They're a waste of space anyway. Begin with. Okay, so we got another. 8 of 5, yeah, it keeps updating as it goes. So what I want to do, I want to make a monastery. So I can heal those elephants, because they are going to be able to take pretty much everything, I feel like. These, all these small villages. Here there are some own elephants though, we don't like that. This is a little bit annoying though, it's going to get this pop up all the time when, uh, when we take down a tower. That means no bee. Yeah, we'll just move forward. This one seems fairly easy to take. This one will take a little bit. What's this? Infantry equipment? Did I get up? Oh! Maybe I shouldn't do upgrade. Oh, what's this? Maybe I shouldn't do blacksmith upgrades. Seems like I might be getting them for free. There's some of them. That's a nice looking building though. Yeah, I will avoid that one for now. I want to go towards this. Okay, it chooses that path. Let's drop a... We're, we're limited to the castle age anyway, so might as well drop some stable or something here. We can make some more uh, elephants, and that's actually a nice spot for a town center as well. So I will go and do that too. Uh, let's send this cow light cow. Oh, come on, elephant. Let's look around and see if we can find some more upgrades.
There's gold here as well. Seems like there's a path here, so there might be something hidden. Uh, okay, never mind. Komodo dragon! Ay -ay -ay. F. A different hot key where I play most of the time. Tiger, oh boy. Getting some fancy animals in involved. Yeah, I kind of want to hold off on making upgrades in case we get them for free. I'd rather... Oh. Maybe I should go there with a unit. See if something happens. Yeah, we'll just run around. See if we can find some more technologies. See if that gives us something as well. Kind of doubt it, but you never know. Go away, Taiga! Ooh, okay, that's good. Alright, nothing, just beautiful. Let's uh, just attack there. While our light cab keep looking around. Oh! Go, dude, go away! I I'm, I'm, I'm coming, peace. Oh, uh, the dragon. Wait, can I convert that boy, bad boy? That'll be kind of sweet. Just convert him instead of killing him. Whoa! That's a path that would be impossible to see if you don't have a small trees. It's like we actually lost a fair bit, a few units here, but that's fine. I'm mainly relying on my. Uh... Okay, this is nice. They're fighting this tower. That's nice. Oh, all oh, the ballistics. All right, another tower down. Um, this one should be fairly simple to take as well. I mean, Karambas are just useless. They don't, they die so fast. They have what 30 HP. Very low armor. Their power comes in the mass and how cheap they are. It's fine. You spread the. Yeah, I see it, man. I want to use the Karambas to scout for technology upgrades. As long as they have monks to heal, those elephants shouldn't die anytime soon. Uh, what exactly did we find? Maybe husbandry? I don't know. We should set it said exactly what we found as well. Maybe it was forging, even. I don't know. Wish I could know exa get to know exactly what upgrade was. Instead of just saying we found cavalry equipment. Let's check this out. Looks nice. I like this, this, this architecture. Let's see if there's anything we can do here. Nope. I'm just gonna upgrade the armor. Because why not? I ain't got patient patience to wait for that. The Mongols are offering a temporary alliance against Stingazari. Chen, change your stance to them to ally to agree. Uh, who am I to say no to such a great alpha? This is the... I don't remember what's, what the terrain is called, but... I think you can make like farms on this terrain as well. Okay, not that one, but... We'll see you soon. Alright. So we are now allies with the Mongols, for now. That's good, I think. Hey, what's this? Just a camp. So my... the elephants I found there did not get the upgrades. That's fine. Okay, where do we want to use these guys? Yeah, the elephants are so slow. Send this cavalier to hunt down the crossbows. We 
have found civilian equipment. What? Where? Oh, this? Probably here. What did we get? Gold mining upgrade, maybe? Ah, just tell me what you're giving me, man. Yeah, let's go. There, I mean... I don't think we're ready to attack there yet, so let's just keep raiding these villages. We're gonna keep making elephants, they are cheap and nice. I wonder if we get to control of this when they take that out. Okay, let's go Elea. I hear a rhino. I think I did. Ah, uh, what? Oh, is it because they took out the tower? Yeah. But they get the tower now. Since they took it out, they get the tower instead of me. Not sure if I like that. But I guess it's fine. Where are the rest of my army? God, you're so slow. So you want to take out this castle? I think that's going to be my first priority. And after that, we'll move towards... Yeah. After that, we'll move towards... Maybe Mongols, even. Before. Oh! The monks! Yeah, I think we converted that one, that's fine. Uh, so I kind of want to get, like, Siege Workshop forward somewhere. I don't think we're ready to go forward yet. What happened now? What happened? What did I do? I have no idea what just happened where a tower got destroyed or built or whatnot. Well, whatever. Yeah, let's just uh, let's go there. Send a few more wheels forward, and we'll uh, go for forward siege shops there. To oh, what? You actually okay? They're gonna come help me anyway. Well, that makes sense. We don't have the second armor upgrade for our elephants, nor do we have bloodlines, so they're not really the most, not really the best elephants, one can say, but. At the same time, they are... Wait, can I build a castle like here? And they won't... Or will they become mad like on that other campaign? Ethiopian one. I'm gonna try and drop a castle here. So when we turn them to enemies again... We're going on their asses. I'm not sure if they'll notice or re react though. We'll find out. Oh, did I lose all my forward wheels? Damn it! One hundred five population. Did we lose a tower? Oh, okay. So when they take the tower back, they get they they get a tower there again, and then we lose five population. All right, all right. At least the Mongols are helping us with our temporary alliance. Yeah, we might lose another one here. By the looks of things. But yeah, I'm gonna focus on their... I'm gonna go towards the castle now. That's next on the agenda. Not sure if there's any place for us to... Pick up some more technology or something. What? Why? Why does that keep... I'm not sure what the hell is happening. I guess I'm losing towers, that's what's happening. That's fine. I don't know where though. A lot going on everywhere. And they have pikes and arch crossbows. Doesn't really make much sense for us to make... 
for elephants. Elephants are still strong though. By all means, they have 250 HP, 3 pierce armor. But they're also expensive at the same time. But I would say, uh, this is not the most cost efficient way to do things. No question about that. What, can I not make towers? Are you kidding me? Yeah, oh, well, that makes sense. I guess every tower provides population, so if I could make towers, that would ruin the whole thing. You know what? Let's drop a castle here. Just to help us break it. Okay, they're letting us make this castle there. Oh, he's trapped. Rip. So, okay, we'll just waste these elephants until we get the castle up. Should be okay. I'm gonna make like a siege bookshop as well here. Be real sneaky. God damn it, useless allies. Yeah, we are in danger of losing. What? Oh! Oh, well, okay then. Uh, it. I guess it's the same as the other one where if you do any build anything next to them, they might get a little bit mad. So uh, I guess that's understandable. Yeah, I kind of want to take back. Wait, what? Oh, I can't get the tower back anymore. Damn it! I might just make. I mean. Karambis cost less population, but then again, they're so much worse. Well, this was a mistake. I think. Slight error of judgment. But, yeah, oh, well, it's just a tower. I think. However. We might be able to take down their castle. With our petards here. That would be pretty sweet. Okay, seems like nothing more here to do. Let's go towards the middle here, see if there's something there. And I'm gonna release our petards here. Go! Boom! Okay, we don't need two many more. Two more, three more maybe. I really hope we can get that down before our own cast goes down. Look at this pretty bridge. I ain't seen something like that before. What's in here? There has to be something here, because they're... they're... trying to protect it. Oh, are you kidding me? We didn't get that castle. Deals doubt. What? Oh! I like... I can get behind that. I mean, that would have been super helpful if we found that before. Before everything started going down. Oh, shit! Well, I guess that's fine. Well, we are like, we're like maxed out anyway. When it comes to how much we're able to build so far. So it doesn't have to be a bad thing to lose a little bit of villages, a couple of those. Now ah, what? Yeah, we lost that tower, yeah. Oh shit, Mongol is mad. Wait, where did they get resources from again? Have a sip of water. They get supplies from the surrounding villages. Yeah, I think we're about to break them. I should take care here as well. I think our elephants will be fine to deal with that, but. Yeah. We only have 95 population space now. It should still be okay, but. Could have made it easier for ourselves. 
Why, why can't I click these flags? That's weird. On elephants. Yeah, we're fine. Travel down this castle. Yeah, under a castle, these elephants kind of fall pretty fast with the lack of pierce armor. Could have converted those elephants. But oh well. I think we just hit back now. Yeah, we took back this. Oh no! They're coming! Yeah, let's just go in. I think we're, we're good to go in. Probably make some farms with a couple of more bills because food is really what we're lacking. Not really lacking wood. Okay, this is going down. So we're going to defeat the... Take down the castle of Kadiri. Is there any where else I want to go? Huh? I don't see where... I mean, there might be something in this, these areas. Okay, they're down. You might want to have a look and check out that. Where are my elephants? What? Are they chasing something up there? They're chasing a poor little cab. Light cab. Uh, let's move this. Could I trap the... Probably not, but it would be cool if I could trap everything from water. I mean, the castle of Mongols from water. Would be cool, but it would also be kind of lame. <laughs> Alright, yeah, Mongols are still pissed. Just a little bit of a practical joke, man. Yeah, let's... Uh, go and take this tower back. For that village. Call it what you like. I just want to scout these areas to see if there is something here. Oh! Archery? That was... Wait, what did we get there? I, mean, I already have Bautkin upgraded, so I don't even know what the hell I'm getting. Could have been Thumb Ring. I don't have a... An archery range, so I can't really check. Oh, we don't want to lose our trap, that's for certain. I'm actually going to bring these guys along. Personal bodyguard for the trebuchet. To repair it and need. Can you guys stop going up there? Alright. Actually, you're going to go there. It's in like three elephants. Should be enough. Wait, can we trap it? Maybe we can trap it from the water. <laughs> Oh, they fully repaired it. Bastards. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's such a cheating. Cheating. Yeah, that is OP, man. I can just take it down from there. Let's repair these ramps as well while we're at it. Oh, oh they are coming. Not sure exactly where they're going, but I'm just gonna keep these elephants here to control that area. Kind of, you don't really have too many elephants here anymore. I really don't want to lose these rams. Like, I really, really, really don't want to lose them. Maybe I should send these guys down here. Let's do that. We'll make some new elephants here. It'll be fine. Okay, castle down at least. No more Mangudai. We are kind of holding. They're going for the tower. Don't you dare go for the dread. Oh, <gasps> 
Okay. Seems like they're not focusing the trap. That's fine. Is there anything up here? I mean, there's a path there. I'll be kind of disappointed if there's nothing up here now. What now? Another tower down? Somewhere? Anywhere? Yeah, we lost that. Okay, hopefully these guys hurry, because my trap is kind of alone now. Could wall him in though, to be fair. Make sure he's safe. Don't think we need it. I think we're okay. Wait, uh, well, we found a tiger. Great. Yeah, these guys will be coming for the rescue. Oh! No, 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 no! Why are you standing still? Go! Oh, please. Oh, thank god that he switched aggre aggression. What happened? That was a close one. Oh, we lost a ram, though. But now the elephants have arrived. Don't kill the bill. Okay. Alright, should be fine. I have so many resources, I'm not sure why I'm not using them. Should make siege like here as well because we are going to be sieging Singazari soon as well. I think we lost the other siege drum as well because we're not paying attention, but it's fine. We dropped another castle. Now what? Ah, oh, that's just annoying. Whenever you take back a tower, you get the pop up an alert warning. Don't you dare take my trap. Ah, he's actually hitting the villager. Alright, but well, whatever. Just need to get the production down here. Could have made buildings closer here. No, it's just making us. Would have helped with actual buildings. Like reinforcement points, but I mean, we're breaking them anyway. They're acting a little bit awkward, as usual. Ah! A lot of gold there. Uh, okay. Elephants are doing the work at least, you can say that. They're completely out of gold. Let's move forward. We're getting so... I mean, like one unit running by is buying so much time because elephants are just chasing them all the, over the place. You just dive in straight for there. The Mongols have run out of supplies and fear the coming monsoon raids. They're retreating to China. We can As they should. They oh! Did not see that one coming. Tell you that much. Uh, should I have taken out their castle? You didn't have Thumb Ring. You're not really getting anything extra from this. But, uh... Oh, well, this will help, but I mean... Not really necessary no more. That's fine. Well, the... Uh, uh, that's kind of a wasted castle as well now, then. Eh. Goddamn Mongolians. Alright. Prepare siege up here. We don't have population anymore because of these goddamn Mongolians. Guys. We don't need you no more. Actually, we don't need woodcutters. 
Even now, I delete all my wheels pretty much and it's still... Dude, are they walled up here? Well, we'll find out soon enough. We'll get to five more population here though. Okay, they are walled. Can we open up the gate please? Thank you very much. Oh! Damn it! Just click. Get it! it might be fine. I mean, take as no splash damage. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. There we go. Thank you very much. Appreciate the invite. We have a lot more coming. I promise you that. Even though, I mean, Mali elephants are pretty weak, but still, elephants are elephants. They're pretty damn strong, regardless. 250 HP is never something to. Laugh about what the hell is going on over here? Alright, we'll just trap down whatever they have here. Let's get the mangonels. I kinda feel like pet tarts might be even a better unit to uh, take down buildings at this point. The ramps always get targeted and they don't deal the damage I'm expecting them to. I feel like sometimes maybe it's even better to just make the tarts and let them do the work. Although in this scenario when we have this many elephants, I mean, we should be able to do what we want. Why? Come on, guy. Where are you? Where are you go? What? Where are you going? Why are you running this way? Where? Like where are they going? Yeah, I'm gonna put them on control group 3 and we're gonna follow. We'll see wherever they freaking end up. Is there an entrance, some, entrance somewhere else? Like, where the hell do they think they're going? You know what, let's take these. <laughs> I need I need army. But, I want, these, these guys will show us where they're going. Maybe I clicked on the other side of the before the gate was... down the only explanation I'm coming up with right now I'm curious to see where the hell they end up anyway we we'll go and do a forward castle drop here how forward though I'm not sure wait <laughs> wait where are they going? Oh. Thought it was a castle for a second. No! I uh, accidentally clicked them. Damn it. Uh, we won't get to see how where they would have ended up now. Damn it. Alright, that's a little bit disappointing, but we're breaking through. So good. Guess we'll work in their town center. They might call it after the TC. The only annoying thing with these elephants is they keep chasing these units that are just being uh, path straight through our army. Look, their units are not fighting me, they're just running around and debating my elephants. Oh, yeah, they're deleting everything. That we have done it. And still, they're trying to remake things. That's weird. I, I'm. I swear, I saw them delete stuff. I'm not sure why. This is still going on. like cowards it's time for the Majapahit to become the one true Indonesian Empire yeah okay all com objectives completed so there we go oh hello meeting my fellow elephants how's it going all right um oh <laughs> this is um 
That's interesting, to say the least. Didn't realize I chopped through. Maybe that's where the elephants were heading. But then again, they were going like down to the southwest. I don't know exactly what happened there, but... I actually chopped the way through. We could have attacked them from here. That would have been strange. Surprised I didn't get attacked from them here. A shit ton of gold up there as well after we pass this forest. I don't think there's anything else in particular we've missed. I think we scouted all the extra technologies that we were able to find. Could be wrong though, but I think so. All right, let's uh, let's go back and hear what they have to say. And this is how our founder, Arya Viraraja, created the Majapahit Empire from the small village he was given. Defeating his Javanese overlord and the mighty Mongol invaders by being cunning, just like the Kanchil. I'm certain the gods have favored him and his family. This is why I, Gajamada, commander of the elite guard of the Majapahit kings, have sworn to serve them for the rest of my life. Alright, let's have a look at the achievements. Not too much to read into here, as usual. These stats are going nuts. What did they receive? Oh, that's from the villages, right? Alright, that's interesting. But that would have kept growing the longer we waited to take the villages away from them. That's interesting. Castlage in one second. New record, boys. Alright. Alright, guys. That was the story of our founders of the Gaja, Gaja Mada campaign. We're off to a good start. Coming up will be Unconditional Loyalty. Hope you guys enjoyed the start of the Malay campaign. And I will see you next time.